back to Bernat.com. Today we're going to be learning a foundation chain, which is the first step you need to learn when you're learning to crochet. So let's get started. So today I'm using Bernat Super Value as my yarn and I have a five millimeter crochet hook. To get started, the first thing that you want to do is you actually want to make a slip knot. So I want you to take your finger and your yarn tail and wrap it around your finger twice, like that. The next thing that I want you to do is you take this first loop over that second loop, take the second loop back over the first loop and drop it right off of your finger there. And you have a slip knot. And the way you check that is if you tug your working yarn, not your yarn tail, your working yarn, and your loop should change sizes. You can make it bigger or smaller. Okay, so that's our slip knot. Now we want to place that slip knot onto our hook. And I want to work with my working yarn and not my yarn tail. So I want to have my yarn tail down and I want to use my working yarn. So what I want you to do is wrap your yarn around your hook and pull that through that slip knot. That's your first chain. So that's one chain. Let's do it again. Wrap our yarn around our hook and pull that through your chain. And that's two chains. So let's do that again, yarn around, pull through, yarn around, pull through. So that's actually four chains here. So if you lose count while you're chaining, it's easy to go back and count your chains. Basically, you don't count the loop that is on your hook. That's your working loop, and you don't count that. And each chain has sort of this V here, these two sides of the chain. So this would be one, this would be two, three, four. So this one has four chains on it. And basically you're just gonna chain however many your pattern says and then move on to your next step. So that's all there is to making a chain and we'll see you again at Bernat.com. Mm -hmm.